Tonight, World Refugee Day is Monday, June 20th. Now, for years, many in our community have made it their mission to help displaced people from all around the world. And reporter Alicia Patillo has more on the celebration hosted today by Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada to welcome those in need to the Silver State. Here in the Silver State, there are over 1,300 refugees representing 21 different countries. While the reason they may flee their home varies, Catholic Charity says they have found a safe haven in our valley. Nevada is home for refugees from all around the world. Our largest population are our Cubans. Uh, that actually makes up 76% of our numbers here. And then followed by that, there's we are also seeing quite a bit of the Afghanistan here too. I'm an Afghan refugee. Because of safety concerns, the refugee did not want to be identified. He left his home country of Afghanistan nearly six months ago and found a safe haven here in the Las Vegas Valley. After being admitted to the United States, he says he's grateful to be welcomed here in the Silver State. We are happy to hear. In celebration of World Refugee Day on June 20th, Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada hosted a resource event for refugees and their families living in Las Vegas. Carissa Lopez Ramirez of Immigration and Migration Services says they've seen a push to resettle refugees here in our city. Nevada provides funding for several resettlement programs. Nevada and Las Vegas is a very diverse uh, city and we are a diverse state. We are very welcoming. Milan Divitek, director of the African Community Center, says they're expecting over 300 refugees in the next few years, including many from Afghanistan and the Ukraine. For the majority of them, they are they become refugees overseas. So once they flee their home country, right, they are normally in the neighboring country, which we call the host country. So then there, they apply to be resettled to the United States. Catholic Charities is expecting an increase of refugees in the next year. For more resources, just go to our website at ktnv.com. I'm Alicia Batillo reporting.